In one of the previous videos, I told you that there's not only shapefiles, but also uh, raster files, like the OpenStreetMap and the Google Satellite uh, rasters here, and th those have then pixelized information. So what is maybe quite interesting is that um, for a, a shapefile, if you uh, click here on that, you can have multiple values for one click. So if you click here on that, you're going to see that there is um, an area type and then there's, there's a mannings and, and so on. But if you have a raster file, you will rather have bands than layers. And you normally have only one band with one value if it is not a color band. So a color band that has then a red, green, blue channel. So three, um, three bands there. But that just here as a side note. So let's create a raster file. And to create a raster file, you can just use here your shapefile that you've just drawn. So just to draw some geospatial files, you can use the uh, convenient shapefile format you want. And then you can uh, go here to the processing toolbox and then you can search here for rasterize so maybe i should magnify that here a little bit that's a little bit hard to see yeah sorry the magnifier is not working super well here So here you want to use for, uh, want to look for rasterize, right? So you will find here rasterize vector to raster, and that is what we want to do. Just double click on that. We want to use here our flow areas input layer. Then we need to define here a field that we want to use for a burn in value and for a raster file you want to use something that is numeric input so here we want to use our manix n value otherwise we can also leave here some other uh, um, add some other value here to burn to fields where we don't have data or something like that then we can define here um, output raster size units and we're going to use here pixels. Then we're going to set here a width or horizontal resolution uh, where you can just um, tap 100. Um, just pay attention here that resolution is maybe a little bit confusing because the smaller you make that value, the Hi, uh, the coarser will be your raster. So it's not ex exactly the pixel size, it's the, it's really the resolution of the raster at the end. So you, the, the higher that value is, the more or the highest the resolution or the more pixels you're going to have at the end. So we're going to add here a uh, width resolution of 100 and the vertical resolution. We can also set it here to 100. Then we can also define here an output extent and we can just calculate that from the layer and then we can just select here flow areas, which makes sense because it's exactly what we want to use. Then you scroll a little bit down here and when you scroll down, you find here uh, the option here to select a, a, a layer name or a raster name. So you can leave that free, but that will just create a temporary raster that will just disappear after you close your project. Um, but we want to have our file saved somewhere. So click on save file. Uh, we are again here in our QGIS exercise. And well, now it makes sense to call that here, um, just Mannings and, and that will be a .tiff raster. Um, note that you probably always want to use the TIFF format. Even if you're using other GIS software, so there are some commercial software like ArcGIS or something like that, 
that have other formats, but even they have the option to work with TIFF and that always works. Nero always works. So if everything is set, you can then just click here the run button. It will automatically switch here to the log file. And if you define everything correctly, you will see that here. So what you see now here is our Mannings and raster just as a single band and gray color. Well, we have only three values in here. If you want to change that, you can switch here the symbology from single band gray to single band pseudo color and get again a color ramp here. Um, you can do that equal interval, quantile or whatever you want, classify, apply, and it will look like that. Good. So now we have a raster file available and we can do some manipulations with raster videos. I meant raster calculus. Just don't forget here to save your project. <laughs> 